look how beautiful the staircase is. I came to the second floor to the spa, actually. One of the ladies here does eyelashes, which is so exciting. It wasn't on the menu. She just happens to be a technician. And so we booked her to do uh, my mom's and mine. I'm so excited because I've had eyelashes in like forever. fun is it to have lashes uh i broke out a lot anyways so excited to have lashes the pageant girl in me um always goes for a bit of a long lash we switched rooms here as you can see all of our stuff is completely spread out we ended up switching because we booked this place really last second and we only had that other suite that we were in until a certain date because there was a family coming in that i guess comes all the time so anyways we have everything completely swelled out because we are repacking today it is a glorious day <laughs> anyways i wanted to show you the view of the difference this is room 300 if you're interested in staying here again it's called the riva r-i-v-a and it is in Constance, Germany, right across the border from Switzerland. The room we were in earlier is this one right here, actually. This is um, room 310, and then another one is 311. Those are superior suites. This is a regular suite. I always appreciate when bloggers give room numbers because then you can like request it and get like the specific view that you've seen if you happen to be um, going to the same area or wanting to stay uh, there. So anyways, I just wanted to show you the difference. And again, how fun all of our stuff is just everywhere. But I get, get the big bathroom and the bedroom, separate rooms, really cool. Nice view, it's a gorgeous day. I think we're gonna go walking right now, actually. We're gonna walk and like maybe see if we can't stumble, like get lost and stumble on a place for breakfast. It would be so nice. This is the outfit this morning for walking. This is the uh, sweater that we got from Zara, but I tucked it under right here. So you can see it, it gives it just a little bit better of a shape. The, this turtleneck I think is Zara as well. And then this, this belt I got from Koss and I did a uh, figure eight knot on it. And it's just like a regular um, leather belt. It's so kind of cool. It kind of gives just a little bit of shape here. And then the freaking boots that are so ridiculously comfortable. I am so happy that we got like three pairs of these boots. They are the Pat Calvin boots. But uh, yeah, the hat that we got in that little uh, shop when we were looking at the Black Forest, hair in a bun, and ready to walk and find a bit of lunch. Look at us taking a walk. We walked up here, right? And look how gorgeous this is. You guys got my true reaction on Instagram. I like had a like full on <gasps> gasp moment. Look here. These are swans and you can walk all those steps down here to the swans. And look at this building right here. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. We needed a gorgeous walk like this. And it's just particularly wonderful because the wind or the air is chilled, but it's not too cold and you still get the heat from the sun. So it's like, you're just, oh, we really needed a good, a good moment like this. Oh, just so wonderful. Oh, they're just so gorgeous. Look at them. Oh, we've been watching them from our balcony and they have all these little baby swans. Wow. Look. ducks right here as you can see like in the background this little tiny baby one in a second look he's gonna pop back up he swims underneath the ground like underneath the water what do they say he swims under the ground look <laughs> and hunts for food and then in a second he's just gonna pop back up <laughs> that is the cutest thing of my life wait for it <laughs> that's so much fun guys are these baby swans or are these ducks? I was saying ducks a second ago, but my mom was thinking they're a baby swan. Watch, watch, they're so, so cute. I love it here. Germany, guys. Germany is my new favorite place. It was top three for a good solid second. Now it's number one. Germany is my favorite place ever. Germany in fall, best travel destination. 19% off shopping. 
and incredibly gorgeous. Everybody here is so nice. Just, I love it. I love it here. I want a vacation home here. We finally found our little place that we're gonna have uh, lunch. It said 15 minutes on the GPS, but I feel like that was shorter. That had to have been like five or 10 minutes. We kept shopping for this one, so I don't actually know, but there's a little balcony and it looks like they have pizza and hot tea and like, oh, oh, just wonderful. Guys, tell me you've seen a cuter place to eat. Are you ready? Look. Look, look at the sailboats, the little yellow house, and people just walking on the little terrace. Uh, oh, they have Kelza? <sighs> I am in my element. Guys, we're here ordering dessert. I got my uh, Google Translate app out, by the way. It's like the best hack ever. Google Translate bought another company that came up with this technology, if you will, of pointing the camera at words, um, and they translate with them automatically on the menu, and you can like pause, almost like take a picture of menus and like read in your language. It's amazing. It's the best thing ever, especially when your waiter doesn't speak English either. And uh, so anyways, that's, we're ordering desserts right now, so we just did that, right? And look at this word. Guess what this word means? This is German, obviously. We're uh, on the German side, and Swiss, Switzerland speaks Swiss German, but uh, this this is a full German word, and it means plum. <laughs> Isn't that insane? That's what that word means in German. <laughs> plum. <laughs> I am on route to go and figure out the tax back situation. It is just so freaking exciting. I think I already told you guys this, but everything here is 19% off, right? But the process is a little bit different than it would be in everywhere else in Europe. Here, you get the 19% back, but they give you, like you buy something in the store like you would usually do, but instead they give you that long receipt, right? And you fill out you know, like your passport and your name, stuff like that. And then um, you go to what's called the toll, and then you get a stamp from there. You go back to the place that you purchased the item and then they give you cash right there. So that's kind of the whole process, right? And uh, so I, this morning I went through all of the receipts that we have and I'm getting like $600 back, something like that, which is freaking amazing. I'm so excited. So, um, especially since I wasn't expecting that at all and it doesn't work like, I mean, you get it right now, right? You don't get it like in 40 days like you do if you shop everywhere else and put it back on your card. So that's really exciting. I'm gonna go in and try to find the toll place. My mom is actually at the hotel still. She wants to like, pack her stuff and kind of get it all set up. So I'm on my own today and I think I'll probably pop in there, get some lunch. I love going to lunch by myself. It's so much fun for me. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. So I'm going to do, um, yeah, I think I might, I don't know what I'm going to do first. Maybe lunch. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. So all the stores are closed. And the uh, toll is also closed. <laughs> so <laughs> duly note that if you're ever in Konstanz, Germany, everything closes on Sunday, all of it, all of it. This is the store I was going to go to to uh, exchange my luggage, closed. All the little shops are closed. The Lago Mall is closed. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it is definitely a town that closes on Sundays. So anyways, I'll probably do bit of like window shopping for fun and I extended my hotel for another day so we'll just do this tomorrow instead and find a really cute place to eat lunch I think so that'll still be fun found a little spot to eat. And when I waited in line to order, I found out that it's all vegan food. And look, I got a panini, this is a vegan panini. And look at these cakes. Do those cakes look vegan? Like, no, they do not. Oh my gosh. The chai latte, and then whatever that is, it's like a apple tea, something, something like that. But I'm really excited to try all of it. It looks like it's like the best vegan food ever.
if you are curious what a McDonald's looks like in Germany, here you go. I always get a kick out of what McDonald's look like in every country because they have the classic venue, of course, but then they always have like candies and stuff that is totally unique to the country. And sometimes they have a burger that is specific to the country as well, which is kind of fun. Oh my God, vegan, vegan fresh. Fun, they have a vegan option. Oh, so cool. Guys, I'm here. We're gonna do it. Look, look. So cool. You can even order in English, which is cool. Gotta try it, you know? Take away. Uh huh. Gotta check it out. What's different? Guys, look, they have a vegan option. An actual vegan burger here. And what is that? Such a, such a little tiny top bun. <laughs> it looks like it has pineapple on it. Wow. A McFreezy. Look at this. Look at that. <laughs> Why do I kind of want it? <laughs> Okay, this one kind of takes the cake though, because what? Crispy shrimp, guys, and a chicken and shrimp box. And also, what is that? Big roasty and curly fries. What? Okay, well, the shrimp kind of takes the cake. That is very unlike <laughs> usual American McDonald's. Okay, so this is what I got. <laughs> I got a McFlurry with cookie dough and the like interesting, this right here, it's like a certain candy in German. I'm not sure what kind of candy it is. It kind of looks like M&M's though and caramel sauce. And then I got a um, McChicken because it looks totally different than the one in the US and I wanted to try it. Gotta try a Big Mac because we gotta compare, you know, see if it's the same. Same thing with the filet fish I really like the filet fish at McDonald's. Um, so I wanted to try to see if it was the same because our seafood here in Germany is pretty good. So I wanted to see if it was like, if it tasted like amazing or something. And then I also got the chicken fingers. Oh my God. Look, look, look. That was like the fastest McDonald's order I've ever had in my whole life. Okay, just got here. And fun fact story for you. I just had an actual panic attack because I thought my car got towed. <laughs> oh my God. I parked somewhere first when I first got here. And then I ended up moving because I realized that it was going to be closer for me to park somewhere else because originally I was going to take that stuff back. So I moved and the whole day I was still thinking that I parked in that first parking spot. And so I've been like kind of planning where I was the whole day according to that parking spot. So when I got there with my McDonald's, I like had a freak out because I was like, no, because I've actually had my rental car towed one time in Paris because <laughs> I got like, ugh, I got uh, food poisoning and I got super sick. And uh, so I parked where like the taxi line is, even though I like I shouldn't have. And usually I can get away with it for a little while, but I was, I got really sick for like 24 hours. And so they towed it. And the only reason I got it back was because I made good friends with the police officer like two, day prior, two days prior. I have to do like a full on story time about that. Like comment down below if you want me to do a story time <laughs> on the time my car got towed in Paris. <laughs> Cause there's so much to that story. That's actually like a crazy, crazy story. Oh my gosh. Anyways, thank God my car did not get towed. Hallelujah. Woo. Now let's go before my fries are just like ice. Bag is secured and we are on our way to the hotel. Okay guys, here's the loot. This is the classic snack salad. Look how fresh that looks though. These fries that literally look like Arby's fries, which is so funny. Regular fries look normal. Look how different the chicken looks. That's like the home style chicken or something. Fish filet looks normal. And then Big Mac looks normal. There you go, there you have it. Good morning guys. We are off today so fun look how beautiful it is outside oh, we are off to the town center again today to do everything that i was gonna do yesterday as you saw that i couldn't do because it was all closed so um yeah we are off to do the toll stuff so we can get that stamp and get that 19 percent back which is amazing and then we are going to find loafers and maybe exchange a few things. Today, I'm wearing my new uh, Chanel sunglasses. I know I did an unboxing. A lot of you guys bought these too. How cute are they? They're like 390 or something. They're really inexpensive comparatively for Chanel sunglasses. And they're really fun. This is the hat that I got at that little store next to the Black Forest. This uh, coat is from Zara and I love it because of the diamond quilting here. I'm wearing my mom's purse and because I needed a little bit bigger purse today and I didn't want to carry the Birkin because it's just, it just gets heavy when you're like shopping. So uh, yeah, we are in our little car. Let me get my little key here and off. I'll see you guys at the town center. We 
are here headed to our first spot today called Alexander Heights because we are exchanging a luggage. My mom's already in there with it. We are just thinking we would rather have a brand called Bricks. We bought in Switzerland last time we were here. We love that brand. It is so high quality and amazing. So we, uh, we thought, well, we'll go ahead and take this one back and get that one from another city that we're going to later. So we're just looking around here to find some like fun things to exchange it with. My mom found a really cool brand that she likes a lot. I'll show it to you. It's called something that you definitely need an accent to pronounce, but it's a Switzerland brand. And she was saying that a lot of Swiss people really love it. They come here specifically for it. There you go. That's the actual name of it. And she, my mom has a, like a little pouch that she um, wears with her phone a lot. Anyways. Yeah. So it was kind of fun. And then I found this brand, which is a German brand. It's called Buffalo, just like kind of like Buffalo. And it has really cool wallets. Like look at this wallet. It's like just so usable. It's like the wallet that you buy to actually use like well, you know, and I bought the small one. I actually already have it in here because they already took the tag to buy it. And I just got my cards in it because I was testing it out. But look at this one. Look how cute it is. I needed a wallet that was going to fit in all my smaller purses because I bought full size wallets here. And I don't know why, but I just needed like a one that I could put my cash in. And then look, so you have this side, right? And then here you have this for the euros. Isn't that nice? I like really like this wallet <laughs> and it's like 70 euros or something all leather and I was like yeah I mean I don't know it's really cute so we're gonna exchange our stuff and head to the next place but um yeah I was trying to show you guys around a little luggage store in Constance popping in for a bit of lunch it's always so cute these little blankets that they put out for everybody we're popping here because the uh, associate at the luggage place suggested it and it's so fun we can sit out here and people watch. Look how pretty this color is on my mom. That's so pretty. We went back again in Massimo Duty, as you can see. We've been here like six times this week. We're exchanging a coat though that we bought kind of on a whim, like too fast and it just didn't work out as well. When we tried it on at home, or it was actually for my mom, so we're trying things on right now to switch it out for, like cashmere sweaters, just good basics we can kind of wear. And so yeah, massive duty again. <laughs> Selection sorted. <laughs> we can't be helped at this point. Are going to go to like our favorite place that we went last Tuesday. Uh, every Tuesday they have burgers and fries and they are like insanely good. Like one of the best burgers and fries I think I've ever had in my life situation. I talked about it before and on another day I'll have to film like what the name is. I don't even know what it is but it's like oh the food is just we've been there like four times now but burgers are only on Tuesday so we're like particularly excited we're here on another Tuesday. So today I am wearing this long cardigan. It's pretty warm today so I'm trying not to get too hot especially because the heaters are on in the malls so you just get really hot really fast so i'm wearing this massimo duty this uh uh like faux cashmere scarf that we got from zara my pearls and look look how fun i put the little chanel pearl i actually got from mona which is so nice she sent this to me i did a live with her so so nice and i love it originally i was thinking it'd be really cool to like put as like a tie here like to wrap your scarf to keep it closed but i really love it on like low bun i think that's so fun it just adds like a bit of pop a bit of pop, especially when you're wearing like a hat like this. Isn't that kind of a nice thing? And I think these are revolving, so you can get them um, like multiple seasons. And they're pretty inexpensive, I mean, comparatively for Chanel. So there's always these, me and fuzz on my hat. It's just like who I am at this point. How do people deal with this on the fuzz on the hats? They just constantly pick it off. I'm a fuzzy, fuzzy hat person. It's just who I am. We made it! Yay! So cute. We... We're going to our burger spot and then they were like, oh no, it's burgers at night. We only do, bur it's like starting at six. Ugh. This is where we came for lunch today. Look how cute it is. That's the, uh, the name of it at the top there. And I was gonna show you inside the first floor. It is just so cute. It's right here in the town square. And the inside, they have a whole little cake box. Look at all the sweets. I mean, just. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look how fun that is. 
On the inside. And look at the stairwell. Oh, it's so pretty. We just got done shopping at Jerry Weber. You can see right there. And I completely changed outfits because I bought this. And it's like a matching kind of set, like comfy, comfy. And I was just like, you know what? I don't feel like changing out of it. So, so we kept it. And then this was a free gift with purchase. Look, it's a mask. It's a mask that's like, look. <laughs> How funny is that? <laughs> it's definitely gonna keep my face warm, which is fun. But uh, yeah, we, uh, we went ham. We got this and we got another cardigan and I should have showed you guys, geez. But uh, we'll do a haul. I'll do like a haul of everything I got here. It's a German brand, which is really cool because you can't get it in the US, which I love doing that when we're um, shopping in another country, getting brands that you couldn't necessarily get otherwise just makes it more fun. So yeah, now I think we're gonna go into the mall and get all of our money back. Oh my gosh, guys, <laughs> what an event that just happened. First of all, I'm gonna try to insert some footage maybe here of me and this cat. <laughs> I came to the border because I bought a few more things today and you guys know 19% so exciting. Thought I would try my luck getting another stamp even though yesterday, as you know, was kind of a disaster, but we made it through. And <laughs> anyways, I, um, Stop at this a different toll, right? I was like, I'll try my luck at a different toll. And then this happens, I'll show the footage. And it's this like sweetest little black and white cat that is like in the middle of the street. And I'm like, oh my God, because cars are driving, right? And so I was like, I called to him and he comes straight to me, like directly to me. And like, he's so precious, like just the most precious thing ever. And then jumps on my car, right? Jumps on my car. I'm like, baby, well, like, what are you doing? Do you have a home? You know, like just talking to him. He goes to my window, like he wants to get inside and he just seems so cold. And I was like, oh my gosh, this poor little baby cat. And so my mom's in the car and I'm coming to get like these stamps, right? So I was like, okay, just go in the car. We'll figure it out when I get back. <laughs> and so I went to the toll place and I asked him because he spoke really good English. And I was like, bless. Um, and I was like, so found this little baby cat and it's not a baby cat. It's like an adult cat, obviously. I just call all baby cats, all cats, baby cats. And anyways, I just walked through the toll, like, underground, by the way, because I was on the Swiss side and I need to go on the German side. That's what that is. Anyways, I asked him on the Swiss side and he was like, oh, no, 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 that cat is like our cat. Like, he's like the cat of the toll booth. He's so sweet. We all love him. And um, he has a home. He's like with a farmer over there. So like he, I was like, but he jumped in my car. He seemed so cold. And he was like, oh, no, he loves to do that. It's like his favorite thing. And I was like, oh, okay. I was about to like import a cat to the US basically. Oh my gosh, what a mess. <laughs> he's so, so sweet. Anyways, so he was telling me, oh, you're on the Swiss side. You need to go to the German side, which is that little like underground tunnel there. And so that's what I just did. By the way, if you are in Germany, if you happen to come to Konstanz, this toll is only 4 million times better. Like so, so, so much better than the other tolls. <laughs> like so much better. I would highly recommend this toll instead of any of the others. This is the toll on the highway. There's three tolls in Konstanz, like mainly. And one is the train station, which is the worst of them all by like a lion slide. There's the one that's right next to the, a roundabout. This is literally for the three people that are gonna go to Constance. And then the other one is on a highway. And the one on the highway, so much better. He literally looked at my stuff and goes, oh, okay, boop, boop, boop. Gone, done in three seconds. So nice, so kind, spoke perfect English. Both sides, Swiss and German spoke perfect English. I was like a breeze. Gosh, I wish I came here yesterday. Would have been so much better. I don't know what was up with yesterday because both of those toll places yesterday were just an absolute mess. This is like under construction. I'm going to show you a visual of this toll just in case you ever want it or need it. Oh my God. All those stairs and I was just running. I need to catch my breath. But here, let me show you the toll. See how big it is? This is the highway toll. Highly recommend, so much better. Wow, massively big difference. So now that I'm back to my car, <laughs> let's go check on this sweet baby kitty. Let's say hi to him together and bid him farewell to his farm life. Oh, he's so cute and sweet. My mom's getting along with him. She have him all wrapped up. There he is, there's a baby. Oh, you're so sweet. Oh, you went out now? Let me let you out. Now that I know that you're all safe and sound. 
You were all warmed up. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, there you are. There he is. There he is. Okay. Um, he's he's owned by here, so we're okay. You all warmed up now? You all warmed up? Well, we love you. We wish you a happy and wonderful life. Yes, we do. Oh, I love you. You're so sweet. Until next time. Until next time. <laughs> it is that time of day where we play dress up from everything we bought today. Look how good that is. Oh my gosh, we have to come in here to the actual one. You guys know you've seen the one that I bought in red, I think already. My, we happened to be walking by that place again. My mom was like, you know what? I tried on your red one. It was so good. Look at this navy blue one with her light blue. Look how pretty that is. That's so good. I also bought this today. This was like my little set that I could just lounge around in and it has, it's almost like a scuba material, but it's very, very soft. It was probably a little expensive, but they had it in a size that would just like be oversized on me, which is kind of rare for stores. So I just kind of went for it. Um, obviously, I don't think I'd wear it by itself like this, but look how fun that is, mom. She also got a burgundy to show you this one. Also, I was saying this on Instagram stories. If you didn't see it, this has to be the best buy of today. This is from Zara. Look at the quality. This is so comfortable and it was 69 euros for this jacket. I told the girls at cost when we were there and they were shocked. They were like, no way. I mean, it looks like a several hundred dollar jacket, like easily. Oh my God, guys, look at this outfit on my mom. Look, look at it. Oh my goodness. This is a set we got from Zara, right? This right here. And it matches the pants. And these shoes that we got for like $29 yesterday. And then this is Massimo Duty. Look how sexy that is. That is the best. It looks like a several hundred dollar outfit. With the pearls that just make it pop. Fine. Mom, love it. How cute is that? I mean, that right there alone is so cute. The, even the pointed toe, like we could not, we happened to find those. And then they just happen to be like the most perfect shoe for all of our color schemes that we just keep on buying at almost accidentally. Tan is like the color of this vacation. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. This morning, we are on our way to the town center to get done everything that we didn't do yesterday, story of our lives the last couple days. And look at mom's cute outfit today, so cute. And we're gonna um, do that and then go and get the money back from all of the stores that we shopped at yesterday because we did the stamp last night with the kitty cat you guys saw that and then maybe some navy pants i'm thinking navy pants are in order to purchase navy maybe some tan something else that's not black because we have so many cream colors <laughs> that i feel like black pants with all the cream that we have is is like or in like the colors i don't know we need some more cream pants so uh yeah that's on the ticket today look how pretty everything is so pretty oh wow yeah they're clear enough to be able to see the mountains can you guys see that so fun oh just the best the best oh you know what actually we're turning here okay talk to you later <laughs> Look at this insane chocolate place. That's what it's called. And look at these slabs of chocolate. Look at this. Oh my God. I mean, just, I am going to drop some money here. Okay, y'all, I'm here with an update. I'm here with an update on the cashback in Germany situation, the tax-free situation. Here's the deal. So I just went to Ryzen Bank, as you saw, I'll put in a clip here. Ryzen Bank is the third party that handles all of the tax back for stores that do not handle it themselves. So here's the deal. <laughs> Basically, there are stores that handle their tax back themselves. And in those stores, you get the full 19% back 
on anything you buy. Many stores do handle it themselves, some of them don't. Most of the time they're very large corporations that that like have multiple brands underneath them. So for instance, Massimo Duty, they own multiple brands. They own Pull and Bear, they own Zara, they own a few other ones, right? So they're like a conglomerate. So if a store does not handle their own tax back, you go to the third party company. So that's either Global Blue, Planet, Ryzen Bank. Those are kind of the main ones. You can go to Ryzen Bank and they handle Global Blue and Planet, right? Global Blue works directly with Ryzen Bank, so you don't get charged a fee, but Planet doesn't, so they charge you like five euros or something like that to get the cash back directly from Ryzen Bank. Ryzen Bank's the only thing here, so that I just took that fee on because I just wanted to be done, right? So here's, here's the deal though. When a company uses a third party, that third party takes a lot of fees and therefore you do not get the full 19% back, you only get 10 to 11% back. So you wanna make sure when you're shopping in Germany that you ask the sales associate, if, you, if you're in a store and you see a whole bunch of things you like, just ask, hey, do you guys handle your own tax back? Or do you uh, go to the bank to get it or a third party or whatever? And they'll know and they'll say one or the other so you'll know if you're actually getting the full 19% back or if you're only getting 10 to 11% back. Again, none of this in Germany, none of it matters if you get back on a card or if you get it in cash, it's the same difference either way. But yeah, that's new information for you. Good morning, everyone. We are out and about today. We just walked out of our hotel, which is right behind me, the Riva right there. We love it. Today is our last day today. So as a as a last day treat, we are walking along Swan Lake again, which I've just kind of nicknamed Swan Lake because the swans here are just incredible. And if you can see behind me, there is probably one, two, three, four, 30, oh no more, 35 swans maybe. Just, just here naturally. They don't breed them here, That nothing. Like all the swans have just decided that this is their lake. And so I nicknamed it Swan Lake. Our favorite cafe ever is like just a little short walk from here. Uh, cafe Levin, which I was showing you guys the other day. And the cutest couple owns it. The um, man who owns it is just so, so, so nice. We love him. So we're gonna go for our last breakfast here before we head on to the next city in Germany. We are going to another city with a castle. I can't wait to take you guys along with that too. But today is our last day here. So we'll be doing a few other things. And uh, I just wanna sit here and like stare at the swans for like an hour or something. It's just my favorite place in the whole world is this lake. And the water is so still today. Like usually it, it crashes along here and makes this really pretty sound, but right now it's just like pinned still and it's just majestic watching all the birds. that like no one even feeds them usually like in the u.s like, i mean a whole bunch of people will feed the ducks and that's why you would have you know a good congregation but no one is feeding the ducks here like i have yet to see one person feed the ducks they're just eating from the bottom like they're so happy guys look at this <laughs> why is that so entertaining to me <laughs> just sitting there it's so cute <laughs> And here is La Teresa. It seems so short, it's definitely not like a hard walk at all. And then right there, you can see that that is the little balcony and I'll give you guys like a full reference for um, how to get here, just in case you're staying at the Riva. Also, you walk along the side of the fence and there is little stairs that go up to the balcony and you sit down. So perfect. Oh my God. <laughs> like, Incredible. I told you, the food here is insane. Just got back from our lunch at the La Teresa. It is just the best food on the planet. She was saying that she's the cook or she, it's like her recipes. I'm sure she doesn't cook all the time, but um, 
I mean, just insane food. Like, seriously, one of the best places I've ever eaten ever. I mean, the pasta is better than the pasta I had in Italy. Don't tell anybody that, but like, it's insane. You guys have to go visit there if you're ever in Constance. Um, it's definitely worth it. And officially, I am done. My last little bit, the matching hoodie is what I finally went with. Officially, we are leaving. We are leaving Constance. I love it here. I'm so sad. I cannot wait to come back. It seriously just turned into one of my favorite places in the whole world. <laughs> they have the best, like, cutesy little shop shops for shopping and just oh, everything. Love it, love it. Ooh, watch this space um, where we end up going next. But officially, we're saying goodbye to Constance. Oh. Oh, I love it here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please click on the other vlogs to see where we go next. And if those haven't been uploaded yet, click back to my other vlogs to see um, what I've gotten up to in other countries. And I will see you on the next one. GPS just casually has us getting on a boat. <laughs> I didn't even know the GPS could do that.